Did y'all see? Did you see? Or did you read the Death Note one shot manga? Oh, oh boy. You need to go read that. Ain't that right, babe? Yes. You need to go read that. It's crazy. Now, we about to go talk about some spoilers. So, what I need you to do is skip to this area right here if you don't want to hear no spoilers. But, my God, this was ridiculous. So, now, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. I thought people were just going to get murked, and that was it. Nope. It was not anything like I thought it was going to be. And it was fantastic. And it was modern, which I respected and I appreciated. I appreciated the fact that, you know, it was 10 years after light was keto and they had like technology and stuff like that i love how they had the characters from before so like near matsuda and all of them right um i thought that was fantastic and near is up to his old things now they're calling him l so and he's a grown-ass man now which is crazy or at least a teenager something like that it's weird um he's got long hair and all of that it was cool seeing ryuk like an actual like like it's actually ryuk not like fan made and none of that it's like ryuk um, and then the character that they had, like the main character was sick. I thought he was fire. I thought he was a cool character design. I thought it, like how, like, I like how smart they made him. I love the shots that they took at president Trump. I thought that shit was funny. The whole manga was sick. Like, I love how they, how he used the death note without using the death note. Um, but man, dude got murked. Only one person got murked in the entire, in the entire thing. And it was him, which is crazy. It's, it's, it's pretty unfortunate actually. And it was cool to see him. Ryuk put his name under Light's name. I thought that was dope. Man, the whole thing was just fire. It was like 85 or 87 episode uh, pages of just like fantastic content. Just dialogue and dialogue. I, there was so much nostalgia in there for me. I, I wish there was more Light Yagami, you know what I'm saying? Like references or, you know, saying what happened after the fact and stuff like that. Like, I wish there was more of that. Um, like what happened to Misa Misa and stuff like that. I wish there was more of that, but hey man, it is what it is. I thought it was fire and, uh, it sucks. It's a one shot, but y'all need to go read that. It's worth it. And when we go to Japan in March, we're going to go buy it, right, babe? Yes. If I see it on the shelf, I'm bringing it home so I can add it because I have the whole Death Note collection. I even have book 13 over there. You know what I'm saying? So I got all of it. So we Death Note heads in this house. Like you see this tattoo, bro? I'm all about that Death Note. So you should definitely go ahead and check that out. We read it on the Shonen Jump app. You can read it on there. Um, you know, support the people who, you know, put it out there. I think it's like $2 a month. Go ahead and catch you some some Death Note on there. I thought it was sick. I thought it was really good. It was a it was a fire piece. I was excited for it, and it was worth it. It didn't disappoint at all. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what you thought. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Also, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing these these puffs and this eye patch, and it's because we just got filming got finished filming the uh, Kiko show, which was a success. Uh, so go ahead and head over to Twitch.tv.com/slash/theyasha, hit that follow button and or subscribe if you can, and we'll be live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, peace. <laughs>